Today, let's see a mysterious creature. If you look at the bottom, you can see it's moving quite dynamically. What is this creature? This creature can be easily seen in the rocks of the intertidal zone. It's easy to find in the cracks of the rock. And if you touch it like this, you can see that it's also stuck to the side of the sea anemone. This creature is strongly attached to the rock and must be removed using a tool. It's a creature called Chitin. If you flip it, the bottom looks like this. If you look closely, you can see that the bottom part is moving dynamically, which is attached to the rock, so that Chitin can live without being swept away by the waves. Chitin has a hard shell and can also have a round shell. If you leave it still, you can also see it straightening up again. What kind of creature is Chitin? Let's do the Chitin anatomy and find out what kind of creature it is. This is the Chitin. Chitin is a polyplacophore in the phylum Mollusca. Most mollusca protect their soft bodies by making shells, and among them, Polyplacophora is a the one with eight shell plates. Sometimes there are species with a shell plate wrapped inside. But every Polyplacophora has eight plates. If you carefully separate a shell plate, you can get eight individual plates from it. The shell of the chitin is a structure in which eight plates are overlapped like tiles. Each plate is held by a girdle, band-shaped muscular area. And girdle is flexible, so that chitin can curl its body. And the bottom of the chitin looks like the abalone. This is chitin's foot. Chitin crawls on the floor with muscular feet like abalones. But what's different from abalone is that chitin doesn't have a part called a head. Most chitins do not have antennae and eyes that can be seen in abalones. However, chitin has hundreds of organs called ocelli instead, that sense light on the surface of solid plates instead of the eyes, so it can sense light and surrounding movements. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And the mouth is at the top of its foot. If you cut the area under its mouth, then put the tweezer in and pull it like this, you can take out this strange organ. This is called radula, the chitin's teeth, which is shaped like a string. If you zoom in, you can see that the teeth are arranged along this line. Chitin uses this radula to scrap off the algae on the rocks. There is also the radula at the mouth of the abalone. It's very similar to the chitin's radula. And the other side of the mouth is the anus and Chitin's digestive tract runs from the mouth to the anus. I wanted to show you the digestive tract properly, but it was difficult because the shape was not clear enough. And there are gills on either side of Chitin's foot, which it uses to breathe. The gonad of the Chitin is located above the digestive tract, and the gonopore at the side of the foot produces the reproductive cells. This is the end of the Chitin's anatomy. If you enjoyed, please subscribe.